welcome back students we were seeing the topic proteins now let's see the cautionary structure of proteins and how protein protein hydrolysis and denaturation is brought about now proteins are mainly of two types first of all globular proteins and fibrous proteins globular proteins are spherical in shape and the examples of globular proteins are insulin hemoglobin enzymes or antibodies okay and fibrous proteins are mainly long and thin in shape examples for this can be hair wool skin nails like this keratin is a protein which is present in it okay next comes cautionary structure of proteins proteins with two or more chains or you can say when protein has many subunits or a number of polypeptide chains each having a primary secondary and tertiary structure of its own this protein is said to be a or you can say the protein is said to have the cautionary structure example for this can be hemoglobin it carries oxygen in the blood which has four polypeptide chains and each chain has a heme group to bind the oxygen that due to this it becomes oxy hemoglobin okay next we'll see how protein hydrolysis is brought about now hydrolysis means lysis means breakdown so breakdown of peptide bonds bonds is brought about and which requires acid base or water and heat it gives smaller peptides and amine smaller peptides and amino acids it's similar to the digestion of proteins using enzymes so protein hydrolysis is brought about by the process next it occurs in in cells due to the to provide the amino acids to synthesize other proteins and tissues now how how the hydrolysis of a dipeptide is brought about now in this this two peptide bonds are here added you can see this is the peptide bond between these two amino acids so during hydrolysis this water molecule and uh, or the h plus ion presence of heat what happens here this peptide bond is break down due to hydrolysis as you can see here this CO here OH get combines from here and this COOH group is attached which becomes an amino acid and here also the again the two hydrogen atoms from here get combines with this they form NH3 and again another amino acid is formed so by the uh, breakdown of hydrolysis this peptide bond is break down and the two amino acids are formed next comes the denaturation a disruption of secondary tertiary and cautionary protein structure by heat or any other thing or you can say heat or organic that is called as denaturation or and in this break apart hydrogen bonds and disrupt hydrophobic attractions again through acids and bases also we can uh, break down the edge bonds between the polar edge group and ionic bonds through heavy uh, heavy metal ions which are attached to the these uh, proteins they can react with the disulfide bridges present in the proteins to form solids again agitation means it stretches stretches the chains until the bonds break down due to agitation so these are the processes by which we can denature the proteins now regarding applications proteins are you know denatured when uh, hard boiling of egg is done wiping the skin with alcohol swab for injection again uh, cooking food to destroy the e coli it is use uh, heat is used to ca pasteurize the pasteurize the blood vessels autoclave sterilizes the instruments so during this these denaturation denaturation is brought about and milk is heated to make the yogurt again this is an another application of denaturation so students in this session we have seen proteins in further session we will have a more detailed look on other biomolecules